Alrighty, we are going grocery shopping. We're gonna go to Costco and we're gonna get everything our family needs for the month of December. There's a few things that I'm gonna talk through in today's video to help you save money and help you save a lot of time and stress. What I do for our family is I buy everything that I can think of for the entire month all at one time. So we're doing Costco and then I'm gonna do a Walmart pickup today. You can still apply these same strategies even if you're not doing monthly grocery shopping but weekly grocery shopping or maybe you go grocery shopping every Every two weeks you can still use these same strategies to help you save money and who doesn't need extra money during Christmas time am I right unified home we talk about all the things that help you organize and declutter your life so you can focus your time and focus your money on having more fun and making those memories with your family so if you're new click subscribe we're so happy you're here we have a lot of fun anyways okay so the first thing you need is you need to think through your month Christmas gifts dinners parties get-togethers neighbor gifts like really take some time. December is an exception to the rule and it's gonna take you some time to think through everything. So like um, my daughter is throwing a little get together with her friends um, for Christmas. So there's a couple things we needed for that. We're going to um, be doing some DIY gifts this year. So I had to add things to my grocery list for that. We have several um, parties and dinners that we're going to, so I made decisions and made grocery lists for all of those things, and today we're buying anything, again, that lasts in the fridge, freezer, pantry, all at one time. The less you go into the grocery store, the less you're going to impulse buy, and then you're spending more than you had originally planned. You know what I mean? We all go for the impulse buy. And one of the most valuable tools that I use to get myself organized so I can take this out of my brain is a meal planner for dinner. So I just open up the Eat Together Meal Planner app and this is an app that me and our team have created to help make dinner time so much easier for you. So we we think through all of the holidays. Okay, what leftovers will we probably have? Um, what kind? What is our schedules as a whole going to probably look like? The week of Christmas, we're going to probably be doing more cooking for specialty recipes for the parties and less at home. And Or I'm going to be busy, so I want my kids to have like a hot dog night because that's way easy and everyone can handle that on their own. We think through everything detail that can come to dinner time we think through it all we plan it all for you and then we even make a grocery list for you and the best part best part is that it's completely customizable because I know your schedule is not exactly the same as mine or hers or hers or hers so you can swap things out you can move things around we have picky eater tips healthy eater tip um and the grocery list you can pull the grocery list this is the only meal planning app that I know of you can pull the grocery list based on which days you want to shop for. So if you want to shop Thursday to Tuesday, do it. If you want to shop for two weeks at a time or one month at a time, whatever it is, you can do it. It is so, 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 so amazingly, like it saves you so much time and it's going to save you so much money. So you think through all those things and then you open up the app and you just pull which days you're going to shop for. Dinner's done. Get that out of your mind. And now you can focus more of your thoughts on maybe baking with your kids or going to your friend's favorite things party. You know what I mean? We are all too busy this month to meal plan, but we're so busy that we need a meal plan. See how that's kind of a conundrum? Eat Together Meal Planner app. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. You can do monthly or you can do a free trial and um, when you do the annual subscription. So, all right. We've got the grocery list, we've got the fanny pack, we're ready to go into Costco, let's go. Okay, first things first, fresh Christmas trees. Do you do fresh or do you have a fake tree? I tried to convince the kids to do fake trees this year. Nobody, nobody was interested. Okay, but Costco, I was thinking the trees were bigger. We went to Lowe's. It's a different experience, right? We don't have any fresh tree farms that we can buy from. Anyways, Costco, $49.99 for a seven foot tree. Great price. Okay, let's look at the bakery. They've got Christmas assorted cookies for $9.99. They're normal cookies. Pies, $5.99. They also have mini gingerbread cakes. You get a six pack. Oh, they're 
you for $8.99. Fun. I'm gonna report back because I bought this like sliced beef for $9.99 per pound and we used it for a couple different recipes. Our slow cooker beef and broccoli was delicious. And then you don't have to cut, such a pain. It's a little more expensive, but you know, you pay for convenience. Okay, I didn't buy any of that stuff, but I am going to restock up on ground beef. $4.19 per pound, it's getting more expensive. Okay, so $13.99, this is what we're gonna do. Sometimes when I do monthly grocery shopping, I just, I don't wanna cook. I love Kevin's brand because everything's all natural, very simple, real food ingredients. I'm gonna get one of these. Um, let's see, it's two pounds. Yeah, that should be good. And then I'll just cook some rice. $13.99, that's a great price. We're gonna get two of these bags of Caesar salad. They're $8.99. Um, we're having a get together tomorrow night and these are a big hit. Raspberries, 12 ounces are only $2.99. I'm in San Diego to give you reference. I think I'm gonna buy like four of these we freeze them and then especially my 10 year old boy he loves to eat these frozen as a snack oh dang i might buy more than four we're gonna be stocking back up on several different types of cheeses um parmesan is one of them 11.89 amazing price for two pounds shredded parmesan um i just put this whole thing in the freezer and just take out what i need as needed 7.49 for a giant thing of salsa. Does that price seem higher than normal? Maybe that's normal and I was getting it on sale for a while. Okay, it's delicious. This lasts us two months. Here's a reminder, all of your baking goods, these are good too, but your baking stuff. $12.99 for two giant things of parchment paper, amazing deal. Same thing with the foil, that's the, the heavy duty $22.89. Why is foil so expensive? But these, these are the best prices so how many oh my goodness how many do you get 15 of the full size pans for 13.99 half size these are what i always buy you get 30 of them for ten dollars it's the best when you have company over do you use real plates or paper plates i always use paper 225 restocking we're gonna you know have get togethers this month and we're gonna want to have paper plates need to restock our um, trash bags. It's $16.89 and you get 200 of them. Okay, I'm getting one of each of these. Um, $8.69 for these ones for our family and then $5.49 for this giant bag. I feel like these prices are a lot higher. Kids specifically requested Cheez-Its, $14.99. Oh, that reminds me, another thing you should be thinking about this month is your kids are gonna be home for winter break, am I right? So that means that you're gonna be doing more at home lunches, less packed lunches. Um, more entertaining at home, more friends are going to be over, all those things. Our Costco doesn't always have these baked chips, $18.99 for 30 bags, like that. Okay, so we have been doing Air Pop popcorn with fresh butter and salt and all these seasonings that we get from Just Ingredients, so good. But $14.99 for 44 bags, the kids can make these on their own and we don't have a big mess. I feel like I'm gonna get this this month. Now another thing that you wanna think through, and I know I'm gonna stress people out, but is New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve sneaks up on us, and I'm telling you, if you just take, let's say take an hour to think through all of these things, make a list. Think through all of these things this month, right now, at the beginning of the month, then your rest of your month's gonna go so much more smoothly, and um, then you'll be able to enjoy all of those things. I was a little distracted because I thought that they moved our freezer cooler <laughs> it's not moved it's just over here Ooh, these pretzels are on sale 4.99 for the big bag of pretzels i think i'm gonna get two of these this month my kids love these i'm also not gonna worry about getting sweet snacks because i know we'll have plenty of that this this month but what i am i am looking for is maybe a special drink we can do for New Year's Eve. I'm telling you, pre-cooked bacon is the best, but it's just for convenience, but it's just not the same as like a good thick cut bacon, but it does, it does the job. Remember I was talking about easy, super fast meals that we already think through and then make the grocery list for you? This is what I'm talking about. We, you have to, you know, it's nice to have a plan. This is only $15.99 for three 24 ounce packages. You think, oh, we'll just do something easy, but if you don't plan it out before the time comes and you actually need it, 
then it actually becomes more stressful than it needs to be. Just take the time to think through it or use our app and we think through it for you. Okay, an executive decision I just made as I was walking, looking through my list, I had hamburgers down because I was thinking my kids really like hamburgers and that's a pretty easy, fast lunch to have at home. Pre-cook a bunch of them and they just heat them up. Except that I'm buying hot dogs for dinner and we, will, we won't even use one whole pack of this for dinner. So we'll have two other packs and we can do hot dogs. It's not like the most nutritious meal, but we can do hot dogs for lunches at home. Okay, we're gonna stock back up on shredded mozzarella, 14.39, but you know what? I forgot to check and see if I have any of the Mexican blend in the freezer at home, but I feel like I do. And if I don't, I know I have at least half a bag and what I'll do is I'll mix it with one of these bags to stretch it a little further until I come back next month. So that kind of gives you an idea of how I stretch things. If I run out, I do run to the store occasionally when I run out of things, but that kind of gives you an idea of how to stretch things because the goal is to not go to the grocery store until you're scheduled grocery store shopping. So if that's a week, two weeks, whatever. Okay, 7.29, the kids have been requesting Go-Gurts. I'm gonna buy two of them. Stocking back up on chicken, $22.99, and you can get, so it's $2.29, 229 per bat or per pound. You can stock, you can get the not frozen chicken for 299 per pound at Costco today. If you're a shrimp person, they have this frozen platter for 1999 or they have the fresh um like clamshell that you can buy from the deli for like 14. That would be cheaper. Okay, I'm buying mozzarella sticks. Oliver's gonna be so excited. 16.99. I don't know that I've ever bought these from Costco before but they'll be fun for our get together, a special treat in New Year's Eve. Meatballs, $17.99, great for a few slow cooker recipes that we have in our Eat Together app. Gonna want our slow cooker meals because you're going, or recipes inside of the app, because we're going to start dinner in the morning, go have fun as a family, and come home to dinner ready to go whenever we are ready. Dino nub Nuggets, $14.69. Okay, there's no price for the beef taquitos, but I feel like there's somewhere around $15. You get 66 of them. Again, I'm thinking about easy. New Year's Eve, we don't do anything special. I'm just thinking about easy, quick, um, and lunches. Holy cow, these prices on eggs for San Diego is amazing. $5.89 for five dozen. That's $1.17 per pound. It hasn't been this cheap in forever. Just got a little bit crazy. So I just got a phone call from my daughter's school. She's on a field trip today. And um, apparently there was a medical emergency on her school bus. And as they were pulling off the bus, like got in a fender bender. Um, I don't know what the medical emergency was. It was not my daughter. Um, and everyone seems to be okay from what I heard. I'm talking to the school district. Anyways, I'm telling you this because I'm feeling a little shook by it. Like, literally shaking. There's a school district um, phone call and they call from like, transportation and immediately my heart dropped. So my nerves are a little, <sighs> and I feel the tears behind my eyes, but um, she's okay. I'm waiting here back from her teacher to actually check on Kennedy individually. There's nothing I can do. I'm not gonna go pick her up. They're at the field trip now. And I need groceries. I need them so bad. Okay, here we go. We do a ton of baking. So I got two of these guys. They were about 14 bucks each. I got, I normally get the five dozen eggs, but I just got the four dozen because I still have, I think about three or four dozen at home. <laughs> That's crazy. We go through a lot of eggs, especially when we're baking. So I got two of those. I showed you that price. I got some cottage cheese for breakfast, which I think will be a nice change up from what we've been doing. Um, this was about five bucks. I got some almond milk that was $9 and I got two gallons of whole milk. We freeze one and keep one in our fridge. That was about six bucks. $21.89, this is my favorite oil to cook with. It's a big giant, two liters. This is the, I mean, the best price. Okay, $8.59 for a 10 pound bag of flour. Do you wanna see how I store that flour? I could do a whole video on it, it's really awesome. Um, and then I'm gonna buy another thing of baking soda because um, we're doing some air dry clay crafts 
for Christmas and at an activity. So um, I'm gonna buy this big giant thing. $5.69 for a brick of sharp cheddar cheese. Just so you know, Tillamook is about double that price for the same size, but it's gonna be a lot different taste. But um, this is what I'm getting. It's for a recipe because did you know, it's for like an og rotten cheesy potato dish that I'm gonna be making for one of the parties. Um, you don't want to use pre-shredded cheeses when you're trying to make sauces, like um, a macaroni and cheese, homemade mac and cheese, for example, because the pre-shredded stuff has a coating on the slices or the shreds um, to make it so they don't stick together, and that messes up the consistency of the cheese. It'll still be good. It'll still taste good. just won't have the same creamy um, texture that you may or may not want just up to what you value most. All right, the boys are in need of new sweatshirts and these are on sale for only $14.99. Good till December 7th. $14.99 for a Hurley sweatshirt. They're thinner. They're more like the um, like sport material. There's gray, blue, and green. My eight-year-old, I'm gonna get him a large. I feel like they're kind of small. Like that's not 14 to 16. So I'm gonna get that for my eight year old and then I'll get an extra large for our 10 year old. Stocking back up on sandwich bread for seven bucks, which I mean, one of these loaves, the Oro Wee at a normal grocery store would be like five, six dollars. So seven dollars for two loaves is an amazing price. And then we use these a lot of times for um, breakfast burritos, quesadillas, bean and cheese burritos, for lunches at home. $4.99 for those. Six 32 ounce um, containers of bone broth for $18.99. And then I'm gonna get these $6.79. We're gonna use one of these sheets of rolls. How many? Yeah, you get two of them. One of the sheets um, for dinner tomorrow night with our get together. And then I'm gonna save the other one for a dinner. Oh, they're so good. The like sheet pan sliders. Um, yeah, from the Eat Together meal planner app. That's gonna be later this month, so I'll freeze one and use one tomorrow. Okay, I, this this is jam packed, a ton of stuff. I'll bet you, I will bet you. Oh, I don't know if I told you, I got one of these. Those were 17, or no, they're like $19 now, and there's a toilet paper back there somewhere. $19 each. Um, I think they're gonna give me two carts on my way out. Yep, we needed two of them. Well, okay, we made it back to the car. Now don't forget, I do still have a Walmart haul and I'll show you everything I got in there. Um, and that part will be a little bit quicker, but it'll give you an idea of the total amount I spent. I actually was shocked when I saw how much this is. It was about $100 less than I was expecting, so that's great. So, the giant monthly Costco grocery shopping list. I love all the comments. You know, it's actually, I have grown to love to just talk to people that I don't know. And the nicest, the nicest lady was in front of me in line at Costco. She was so cute. She's making tamales for um, Christmas dinner and she's gonna make some other like Hispanic meal I can't repeat and I don't know what it is but it sounds delicious. Anyways, like try to make time at the grocery store and when you're out shopping, like, so you're not in a complete rush. I don't know. I really am feeling blessed today. Um, like time is just working out. And by some miracle, my Walmart order pickup is ready early, which means I'm not going to be late to pick up my, my fifth grader from school. Like things are just, I really am feeling blessed. Anyways, Merry Christmas. Here's my grocery list. My grocery receipt. Alrighty, so the grand total was $593.79. Holy moly, for all of this food? In 2023, that's a great price. Me and the cashier, we were talking about how, you know, 10 years ago, this probably would have cost like $400, which true, true. If you go back to my grocery hauls. Anyways, this is right on schedule when you see how much my Walmart haul was. Um, this is right on track. I'm. This is about what I spend when I'm not being super careful with our spending. I am being careful, but I'm being a little more lenient because of Christmas and I'm buying a, l a few extra things and um, more extra things. Santa, Santa's picking, Santa is picking up his Christmas tree right now. Come on, Santa. 
Where are you at? Oh, Santa. Oh, come on. Focus, focus, focus. No, you can't see him. Come on. Oh, I wish you could have seen. He's just not wearing a red coat, but kids. Oh, whoa. That might be Santa. Yeah. He's hanging out with the Christmas trees. It might be him. Okay, we're going to Walmart pickup. I'll show you what I got. Okay, we made it home. We've got all the groceries unloaded. And now I need to show you what we got at Walmart. And Kennedy is baking cookies. How's school, Kennedy? Crazy. Crazy. But everybody's okay now? Yeah. All right. Okay, she's making gingerbread cookies. So we got two things of hash browns, and I'm surprised that they're still frozen because they've been in the car for a long time. And um, those were about three bucks each. They're two pound bags. Hank, you gonna help? Okay. We got three things of marinara. Those are about $1.70 each. I'm so excited for this cream cheese chili dip that I'm gonna make tomorrow for tomorrow night's festivities. What? No beans, chili. Two of them. Those were about two bucks each. And then this goes with the um, baking soda that I got at Costco for the air dry, like DIY air dry star garland. Got three of those. Were those were a dollar or two dollars each? These are for a, a Christmas tree, a pretzel toffee. I don't know. They looked good, and I'm excited. And I kind of banked on them being delicious, so I got enough to make two batches. They just sounded really good. So these were about three bucks each. I bought three powdered sugar. There should be three. One, two, three. Those are about two fifty each for the pretzels. Um, I like the rolled gold brand. They're a little more expensive, so I think it was three bucks per bag. And um, so I got two of those, and then I got two things of brown sugar, restocking all of our baking supplies. Those are three bucks each. A bag of Takis. This was Oliver's request. You got the super spicy. I like the. These are super spicy? Look, the bag says it. It's extreme. Look, right here. Fuego? I like all of them. Oh. I like when it's Except right here, Mom. The, the middle? Right, right oh. there. Okay, sorry. Then it's not but anyways, those are $15. What did they put in a single bag? Buns, okay. Those are going in the freezer for later when we have hot dogs. Hold the phone. I did not tell you what my grand total was. And I found two more Walmart bags that I need to show you. Okay, we got a few things of pasta, some penne, some rotini. Those were a um, dollar each and the barilla was a dollar fifty each. Teriyaki sauce was three bucks. Restocked our very favorite hot sauce, this giant bottle is like three dollars. And we got three things of Alfredo sauce for our get together, those were two bucks each. Two things of cream cheese that was on sale for like four fifty. Two things of provolone, those can be frozen and defrosted for sandwiches. Gruyere cheese, oh, it's delicious. It's for that um, au gratin potato recipe. I can link that down below. Actually, it's just on Instagram, so we'll have to link that. And pepperoni. So, my grand total for Walmart was 111. And so Costco was about five, five ninety. So that's six, seven. So seven hundred dollars. Alrighty. Now it's time to put away all of these groceries. Um, I hope today's video was helpful. I feel like we touched on a lot of points that are gonna help you save money save time, some gift ideas, some food ideas, different things to think through. Again, if you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe. We're gonna hang out. And of course, it's like 60 degrees in the house. And of course, um, you have to go try out our Eat Together meal planner app. It's gonna save you a ton of time. You're gonna love all the recipes and specifically how um, how much thought we put into it so you don't have to worry about that. So go try that. The link is down below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.